Hi everyone, what's up? Well, in my last video, I did mention that my Nandu Tripepi finally molted. As you saw in my recent feeding video, you saw that he was in heavy pre-molt with the very dark abdomen and refusing to eat. Now, he actually molted. And let's go see how big he looks like now. He's actually really put on some size now. And I do have to be careful because here's are some of his urticating hair. And with Nandus, I'm actually pretty sensitive, as you saw in my Entrapepi video, uh, the Colorado Velosus. Okay, so let's see how he looks like. Wow, he's certainly very big. Uh, he's definitely around, I would say, a good three and a half inches now. Kind of reminds me of Gene. Uh, Gene was my old uh, Entrapepi, which grew up into like an 80 inch male. He was huge. So since I didn't have a female, I brought him to Tarantula Canada to try to mate with uh, two of their females. And despite no matter how much times uh, they mated, the females were totally not interested and he ended up uh, dying of old age. That's really sad. But hopefully... Uh, We'll give it a go with this one once he matures. He's probably going to mature probably next year. So I do have his molt here. And we'll try to uh, sex him for you. Now I do have a seeking suspicion that it is a male. And I confirmed it last molt. Unfortunately the video is not going to be very good. Because uh, the molt isn't the greatest. Since I kind of tore up the, old, uh, the abdomen to get a visual on it. So this is especially what you should be looking for in, in teas. And whenever you try to sex it, molt is always the best way to go. Uh, don't confuse it by looking at the tarantula. For example, dorsally. Like here, and say it's a male or a female, you really can't tell because males and females look exactly identical. You can tell by their ventral shot if you know what to look for, the epigastric furrow. Or the molt, which is really should confirm it 100%. Now, unfortunately, you should see a flap between the first and second pair of book lungs right over here. Unfortunately, since the molt is not kind of the greatest, and I believe I don't see any flap on it, then I can confirm that this is a male. Yeah, but he was like two and a half inches, and he grew like a full inch. So that's pretty impressive. It grows, it grows pretty fast, Nandu. Not as fast as uh, Formictopus or Lassiodorus, but uh, they're still pretty up there. Awesome. So there's my molt of the Nandu Tripepi, the giant strawberry blonde bird eater, or the giant blonde bird eater. I like the second one because it's much more shorter. <laughs> Very cool species. So next time I'll feed him in video 101, and I'm sure he'll be ready. So what happens uh, when a tarantula molts, just make sure to keep it hydrated. Have a water dish, which I'm going to fill it up with water right now. And just don't feed it for a week, and it'll be fine. Really cool. Alright everyone, hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.